Hello and welcome to the Kingpin Crime YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be looking at the man dubbed the Wikipedia Narco and the most prolific smuggler and criminal to emerge from the town of Middlesex, UK, Brian Chappington. Chappington's rise was quick, starting out as the owner of a car dealership in his hometown. He would later explode into the drug trafficking underworld, becoming one of the most prolific and highest paid smugglers of his generation. Brian Chapman was born in 1956 in Middlesbrough, in which he spent most of his early life and started his business in Hemlington. In his early 30s, it would appear that his associate circles began to change. At some point during this period, he met the notorious Curtis Cocky Warren. Upon meeting Warren, and by then making a good living off his car dealership, it would appear that the pair came to an agreement to begin importing massive amounts of drugs into the country via a sophisticated network of international criminals using various transportation. Charrington was the bank and funded the operations initially, and during the first few trips provided the transport. Warren would provide the contacts needed to start in the business on a large scale, and between the men, it was the perfect combination to flood the streets of the UK with drugs. Using his personal yacht, the two men began by sailing to France, then, with 10-year British visitor passports, they travelled to Venezuela in September 1991. There they arranged with neighbouring Colombian drug cartels to smuggle large amounts of cocaine and steel boxes concealed in lead ingots into Great Britain. Although one ingot was examined in the first shipment, customs officials allowed the shipment to pass through. However, later notified by Dutch police where the drugs were being concealed within the ingots, Customs stopped a second shipment which contained 907 kilograms of cocaine and had Charrington, Warren and 25 others placed under arrest in early 1996. The first shipment had escaped due to Charrington and Warren having knowledge of the size of the drill bits used by Customs when probing suspected shipments. Charrington, Warren and 25 others were placed under arrest in early 1992. During the following proceedings, it became apparent all wasn't as it seemed, however, and it was revealed that in order to try and escape prosecution, Charrington had turned informant for the North East Regional Crime Squad. Regardless of this, customs officials went forward with this prosecution anyway, despite protests from his handlers, Harry Nags and Ian Weed. Eventually, the gang had some luck, and through Tory MP Tim Devlin, a meeting was arranged in which customs was ordered to drop charges against Charrington on the 20th of January 1993. Suspicions grew around the handling of the prosecution, and the reason charges were dropped, when several months later, Nags was allegedly noticed by customs officials driving a £70,000 BMW registered to Charrington. Although British authorities were unable to bring him to trial in Manchester on his involvement in the smuggling of cocaine worth an estimated £150 million, Britain's security forces, who admitted he was their supergrass on Colombian cartels, rehomed him in Australia where his visa was revoked shortly after his arrival. Travelling to Spain, he resided at the Costa Blanca Resort in Calpa, and later from a fortified villa. He then began laundering millions of pounds which he used to bring hashish from Morocco across the border to sell. During the late 1990s, Charrington continued to be in court, while at Bristol Crown Court he was acquitted of charges after it was found customs officials had illegally boarded his boat carrying four tons of hashish worth £80 million in 1999. Illegally re-entering the country to see his family in 2002, he was arrested by police near Exeter and placed on trial at Leeds Crown Court, which involved two suspended detectives and a former detective, which would be dismissed when the judge refused to admit a phone tap recording as evidence. Soon after his court appearance, a warrant was issued by the Bow Street Magistrates Court for his extradition to Germany, and in July 2003, Charrington was sentenced to seven years in Frankfurt, Germany, for conspiracy to smuggle cocaine. Eventually, his phone recordings linking Charrington to smuggling operation, ran by his son, Brian Charrington Jr., being used as evidence that led to his conviction. In January 2009, Brian Charrington was attacked by his son and hospitalised. This created a bitter rivalry between the two, and both have issued death threats. Following his release in 2006, he was extradited to France to serve a two-year prison sentence after 650 kilos of hashish were found in his possession on his yacht in the English Channel in 1995. In a civil suit filed by the Assets Recovery Agency in 2004, the government agency ruled that the assets seized from Charrington and Warren following their trap in 1992 had been acquired as a result of criminal activity, specifically money laundering and 
people trafficking. Although both men claimed ownership of the estimated 3.6 million, each had earlier denied ownership following the seizure of the original 2.2 million from Charrington's residence in Middlesbrough by HM Customs and Excise in 1992. After Charrington's claim that the money had been earned from legitimate diamond dealing was rejected a few months earlier by the High Court, who believed he had been laundering money from Mario Halley. Warren was allowed additional time to provide evidence to back up his claim, however his appeal was also rejected on the 6th of October. Subsequently, the ARA was granted the largest civil recovery order, with the proceeds going towards the funding of government crime reduction programmes. In 2018, Charrington was detained by Spanish police. Spanish National Police recovered some 220 kilos of cocaine, allegedly hidden in his luxury villa in Spain. In November 2018, Charrington was ordered to serve a 15-year prison sentence by a court in Alicante, Spain. The Spanish press referred to Charrington as the narco who wrote on Wikipedia because of his reputation of updating and correcting his Wikipedia entry. In 2021, the news released that Charrington has been allowed a retrial. This will take place in Costa Blanca, Spain. If successful, Brian Charrington's story may not be over yet. This concludes our video on the rise and fall of the most prolific and wealthy international criminal to emerge from Teesside. Thank you for watching, please feel free to post your suggestions for future videos in the comment section below and if you like the content please like, share and subscribe to support the channel and to make sure you don't miss out on future videos.